Hello everyone, welcome back to Full Grown Gaming's Let's Play of Banjo-Kazooie, and this is actually a bonus episode, might I add, I believe the second bonus episode I've done. It's kind of funny that I say that I'm going to be doing bonus episodes in pretty much every Let's Play that I do, and I almost 100% all the time forget, so yeah, I guess you guys are lucky that I, you know, I'm doing this, like for the Final Fantasy Let's Play, Mario RPG, I promise bonus episodes and I just, it completely slips my mind because I start a new game and then it just gets swept under the rug. If you guys are still interested in Super Mario RPG and Final Fantasy VII, I guess I could do those. But anyway, in this episode, we're going to be doing the Banjo, or the Bottles pictures in Banjo's house, which I've been talking about for a while. And this is actually a post-commentary episode because I thought I was going to be failing a lot. And it turns out that I didn't fail quite as much as I thought. I, I failed a little bit, and it wasn't even that big of a fail. So, really, I mean, I could have done live commentary, but I think for a uh, viewing pleasure, this is way better. Now, this is obviously the pictures that I've been talking about. You can see that the picture is put together, and then the pieces fly apart. And you can kind of use that to remember where pieces are and stuff like that. I think the pattern is the same all, like every time it's different between pictures but if you have to retry one picture i think it's the same every time so if you get stuck on one picture just try and figure out the flying away pattern and you'll get that but also you can see that i've sped it up just to make it like even easier to watch now the first two pictures you don't have to rotate the pieces whatsoever but starting with the third through the seventh pictures you may have to rotate the pieces and that is where it really starts to get a little bit hard. It's still not too bad, but it can be a little difficult. Now, you can- I'm pretty sure that it will be the same for you guys, like if you want to watch the video and then try it yourself, you could like watch where I put the pieces and all that, but really not too hard to figure out for yourself. What is really good about these pictures though, is that you can see that the pieces have the moving, you know, scenery on them, and there's a picture behind it, if you guys- you guys can see what I mean right here, but it makes it easy to tell where to put the pieces. If not for that, it would be kind of impossible because, like, all the pieces look exactly the same when they're on the board, so... If you guys just look at the moving picture behind the picture, it's kind of hard. You guys know what I mean, but yeah, that'll make it a whole lot easier. Now that I've completed those two, we can do the third one. But now, like I said, this is where the rotation will come into play. As you can see, when the pieces come off the board, they completely just fly in every direction and turn a lot. You might be wondering why you would even want to do this challenge here. And that is because you get cheats to- Yeah, I know it sounds like, oh, big deal. And- but it doesn't really do much. The cheats just change the body size. Like, the size of different body parts on Banjo? I'm not sure how to put this. If you put in, like, you've seen, like, after I beat the paintings, the bottles will tell me you can put in bottles puzzle one or whatever the cheat was. And it might- yeah, bottles bonus three. So, there's bottle bonus one, two, three, four, five, six, and then bottles bonus- I'm not sure exactly what it is. But basically it'll change like Banjo's foot size, his hand size, head size, I think there's one that changes Kazooie's head size and stuff like that. And then the last one, or the one you get for beating the last painting, you actually get a, it's Wishy Washy Banjo is the name of the cheat, and that will let you turn into a washing machine. And that has absolutely no effect on the game, it's just kind of funny that they put it in there. It's kind of funny though also that in Banjo-Tooie, there actually is a washing machine transformation that you have to use to get all the jiggies and stuff like that, like it's integral to the game. So it's kind of funny that they, you know, took the secret transformation from this game and put it in Banjo-Tooie. And if you guys remember in Click Clock Wood, when Mumbo kind of tricked us into believing that, you know, we were going to get to turn into a T-Rex, that is also a transformation in Banjo-Tooie, so I think that's kind of cool. Now this is probably the hardest one that I can that I, personally, I think this is the hardest one, let me just say that, because, look at me, like, I couldn't, first of all, when I did B Bubble Loop Swamp in the Let's Play, I had a hard time doing this part of the game, and I think it's only fair that I, you know, struggle on the painting, or the picture of it, and also, if you guys haven't noticed, for every single picture that I've done, and I even do this for real life puzzles, you know, the two times I've ever done that, I put together the outside frame of the picture first, like all the puzzle, the side pieces, the corner pieces, put all those together first, and I'm sure everybody does this, I'm just saying, you know, this is what I do, and then you fill in the middle, and the reason you want to do that is because it's kind of hard to, and by the way, I think I failed this one, this is the one I did fail, I just wanted to show you how close I got. Anyway, the reason I do that is because if you get the outside frame put together, it's a lot easier just to be able to, you know, put together the middle pieces because there's more outside pieces than middle pieces and, I don't know, it's just easier. Also, it's a lot easier to be able to tell 
you know, where the outside pieces go, because there's always going to be one flat side to it. If you try and put the middle pieces in first, you know, it, you guys can tell what I mean. But anyway, yeah, watch how close I get to this without, you know, finishing it. The thing I don't like about the mini game is that the pieces, it's kind of clunky. Look at that. I, do, I was trying my hardest to pick that piece up. And it just would not pick up. Like, I, tr you saw the hand go back and forth over it. It wouldn't pick up. I guess I just wasn't close enough to it or something. But, yeah, so you might get a little frustrated doing this mini game Because sometimes, like, you can see a couple times throughout this episode, I will actually try and put a piece somewhere. And then it won't, you know, go in the place I was trying to put it. And then it's hard to pick it back up and put it where it goes. And, I don't know. Overall, though, it's not that bad. It's just when you have one second left, and if the controls had been a little bit tighter, you could have, you know, beaten it. That's when it gets a little frustrating. Another thing that's important to know about this, on the Xbox at least, if you see in the picture that we're doing right now, there are some notes over there. And I think there were some notes in another picture as well. The reason that is a problem, or it used to be a problem, apparently they patched it, in Banjo-Kazooie for the Xbox version, when you collect something, it stays collected, as I've said many times. However, when if you try and do the bottles pictures first before you actually do the game, like the rest of the game, when you collect the notes in the paintings, or in the pictures, in the bottles pictures, they will stay collected, even though you never really collected them, if you guys know what I mean. Like, you'll collect them in the picture, and the game will register that as having you having collected them. But it won't count for your Jiggy collection, your No collection, or anything like that. So, before the patch, if you tried to do that, you would basically screw yourself out of being able to get all the notes. I've heard that they patched it, but that is why people suggest to wait. You know, wait, don't do the bottles paintings until after the game, after you've collected all the notes, because if you try and you get screwed out, then you're going to be screwed, obviously. And I was sweating bullets right there, because I only had one second left and I got it. But yeah, that is all of them. By the way, there was a point that I forgot to mention where Bottles tells you that he doesn't have any more left for you to do. That means he's full of crap because all you gotta do is look at the picture again and you get, you know, another one to do. I think there might be one more bonus episode, guys, you know, where I show all the cheats and stuff. But as for right now, I want to thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. And I want to see you guys back for the next one.